Hey, Fred. I see you're working overtime. Lucky you. You get to make some extra cash. Uh, anyway, management is requiring me to leave you messages every night to help you out with your shifts. We normally don't have anyone looking over this place during the night, but since we're shut down for innovations, there's been some concern of break-ins and vandalism and that kind of thing. So we needed someone, you in this case, to look over the place and make sure everything, especially Chucky and his friends, is in check. Uh, first things first. I'm assuming management left you with a camera system. If you turn the monitor on, you'll be able to flip through the channels for the cameras that are placed throughout the building. It's not much, but it's at least something to look at while you're bored. And to watch for anything out of the ordinary, of course. They aren't top-notch, so don't be surprised if things are a little... finicky. <clears throat> also, behind you should be a security gate. Now, there were some issues in the past that basically forced us to put in that gate. It's a little broken, however. Instead of you just turning the handle and it keeping itself shut, you have to keep it closed by holding down the handle. I know it's a bit annoying, but in a case of an emergency, you're gonna need that gate. Just don't play around with it too much. You don't want it jamming on you. Alright, uh, I think this should be it. Oh wait, yeah, um, I, I know this wasn't really in the job description, but whenever you get the chance, could you please head down to storage and pick up some things that need to be restocked? Management should have put a list down there. I'm sure you'll see it. Should be quick and easy to do at the end of your shift. And don't worry, it'll probably be counted in your paycheck. Alright, that should be everything for now. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and uh, have a good night.
mother to have you. Hey again, Fred. Uh, I see your first night went well. And if it didn't, you obviously wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> um, I, I mean, you know, you would have quit or something like that. Whatever. Uh, so as you probably already know, this shift is a piece of cake. And hopefully nothing is causing you trouble during the night. Just keep an eye on the gate and keep an eye on the cameras. Oh, yeah, the cameras. Uh, before we shut down, we're having some infestation issues. Uh, I think there's still a rat or something running around the building. Employees have complained about things being knocked over and stuff just being out of place. But we have reason to believe it might be staying in that back room, uh, which is... Uh, channel 4? Yeah, that back room hasn't been cleaned up for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye over there and make sure nothing bad happens. Also, uh, so the technicians yesterday reported a problem with the animatronics. Uh, don't worry, it's hardly anything. There's just been a problem where they'll try to perform when they should have. I think this issue has been noted for Jasper and some other one. So in case there's ever an issue where they start moving around or they're maybe uh, out of place, so we've given you something on the desk that we like to call the stage call. So basically what this does is it resets any misbehaving character and makes them go back to their idle state. Hopefully you'll never have to use it, uh, but... Uh, yeah, uh, that should be all. Just keep an eye on those cameras and use the gate whenever you need it. Oh, and again, make sure to restock items again after your shift. Alright, good night.
shoebox. Again. So now you've been here for two whole nights. Three, three. This is easy stuff, aside from uh, dealing with the robots. I, uh, I hope you never had to use the stage call or anything. If you did, I'm honestly surprised you came back at all. But <clears throat> uh, I guess now you know how they behave when they uh, glitch out. I just really emphasize the use of the cameras. Lord knows what happens to them when they leave their stage. One of the technicians this morning literally had to bolt Chucky back in place. <sighs> just... just make sure to keep a close eye on them. If they leave, make sure you know exactly where they are. I know that this is all... incredibly concerning. I'm not even sure I would do that. To be honest. Especially during the night. Still... I'm glad you've been sticking. Just, uh, keep up what you've been doing, and make sure to go back down to the basement. Have a good night.
Gods. Hey Fred, you made it to the fourth night. Nice job. I uh, hope you haven't had any trouble. Look, uh, what you're doing here is very appreciated. But management has let me know that we don't need your assistance during the night anymore. We're already keeping a close eye on the characters because of their glitch. And they're getting trash in a couple of days anyway. We'll be replaced with the new designs. The bugs in their systems are only getting worse. And to me, that's a sign that they're ready to retire. Just finish your shift. Quiet on the other characters give you trouble, the stage called Trick should work just the same. There's no need for you to come back after this. You don't even have to go down to the basement. Mm -hmm. That's ultimately up to you. Anyways, good night.
sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. Just remember the Red River Valley and the cow dog who loved you so true. Gentlemen, this next little performance here is, yeah, well, it's sung to those ladies who've loved us and left us. Those cheating hearts of Karambir are the pain. Oh, they can do you wrong, can't they? Why don't you love me like you used to do? How come you treat me like a worn-out you? My hair's still curly and my eyes still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? And a love and act a hugging or a kissing in a long, long while. Say sweet nothings like you used to coo. My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? This next song is dedicated to the lovely Willa Mona T. Beagledorf. Wherever she is, I sure hope she hears my howling and comes back to me. Oh, Willa Mona. I know there's never been a mutt. The awful shape I'm in I can't even spell my name My head's in such a spin Today I tried to eat a bone With a big old tablespoon She got him chasing the rabbits Pulling out his hair and 